Okay guys, so we're gonna start this get ready with me. Um, so yeah, I haven't done this in a while, so hopefully it goes good. I have a few products that I bought um, and I'm gonna try out. So I hope you guys stay tuned. If you guys wanna watch this, then keep watching. Thanks guys. So I'm gonna start off with a face mist. This is the Divine Skin Rose Water Face Mist. Um, and it says it soothes, rehydrates, dry skin, keeping that youthful glow. Okay, so I'm just gonna spray this. All over. Okay guys, so I got this rose water from Ross. I think it was like for $5 and um, yeah, it feels really nice on my skin and it didn't leave me any more oily or anything like that. The problem with my skin is I'm really dry, but I'm really oily as well. So it's very frustrating because in the mornings I'll wake up, I'll dry or wash my face, I'll dry my face, and my face feels like kind of like so like tight and dry. But then throughout the day I get really oily and I also break out a lot. So um, it's really hard for me to come up with a routine for my skin because it's so complicated and it just started getting complicated. Next, I'm gonna try this. Jojoba oil. I don't know if that's how you say it, but it's a clear skin oil and it calms the look of blemish prone skin and um, improves the look of skin redness and bumps and it combats uncomfortable dryness. So that's what I need right now. It says put a few drops in your hands, rub together, and pat into your face, neck, or other areas. Tip add five drops to your moisturizer for added boost of hydration. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is just grab a little bit and just kind of like a bit on my face. It doesn't smell like anything. The rose water, I feel like it is perfumed and that's one thing that I don't like. But I mean, it doesn't bother me very much. It goes away. Oh, and that feels nice on the skin. It doesn't feel oily the way I thought it would feel. I thought it would feel oily. I mean, it does kind of feel oily, but not too bad. It doesn't make me look oily. I mean, a little shiny up here, but I think it's because I didn't rub it in very good. It doesn't make me look too oily. So I'm just going to go in and start doing my makeup. I'm going to be using the Nivea Post Replenishing Post Shave Balm. like that much. I don't like to grab too much. And I'm just going to go in with my Fit Me um, foundation in the shade 310. I'm also going to go in with the Real Technique sponge just to blend it all in. Okay guys, so I'm going to go in with two concealers. One is the Fit Me Concealer in Medium, and then the other one is the Master Conceal in Light Medium. So this one is a little too dark, and this one is just a little too light for me. So I'm going to mix them both so that they look nice together. Um, and what I usually like to do is like to grab a little bit of this in the back of my hand. And I like to dot that like underneath my eyes like towards the inner corner and towards the side of the nose and then I also like to use this as a nose highlight I like to put a little bit on my forehead and on my chin then I'm gonna go in with my medium shade and just go right on top of it and then also like drag it out So I'm going to try blending in with a brush. This is the It Cosmetics Concealer or Airbrush Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to pat it in and make sure they're nice and blended. And then I'm going to blend it up here as well.
I'm just gonna do some extra blending. I'm gonna go in with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Translucent Extra Coverage with my Real Technique sponge, a little sponge right here. I'm gonna go a little extra and put some color back into my skin with the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Matte Finishing Powder in 8:30, and I'm gonna go in with this Studio 36 um, brush with this end, which is the dome shape end, and I'm gonna add this right underneath my eyes. I'm going to go into the NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette and I'm going to take this shade which I always take with just a really fluffy brush and I am going to bronze up my face. Place to contour my face, I'm going to go into this shade right here with this wet n wild contour brush so pretty guys so now i'm going to contour my nose and i'm going to use this like neutral shade so that one works perfectly because it works more like a shadow for my face. And I always like to go back and make that line crisp with the little sponge that I use to Add the Airspun Loose Face Powder. So I'm gonna go into the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Flushed Palette, and this is in Native, I believe. And I'm gonna take this pretty little pink shade right here. Okay guys, so for highlight, I'm gonna use this brush. This is actually a painting brush, just letting y'all know. And I'm gonna go into the Naked, or to the NYX um, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette again. And I'm gonna take this shade right here. It's a really pretty highlight shade. I like wearing it on my more natural days, but um, I'm gonna wear it today and I'm gonna mix it with, um, let me show you guys, with the Carly Bible Palette. I'm gonna mix it, and her palette launched today. Oh my God. And also, or yesterday was it yesterday? I think it's yesterday. It, like I, it's actually like in stores, which is crazy. But I'm gonna go into this shade right here, and grab a little bit and mix it up with that shade to make it look a little bit more natural. Yes, baby. For eyebrows, I'm just going to go into the Carly Bible palette and go in with that dark brown shade right here. And I'm just going to use an angled brush and fill in my eyebrows. Okay guys, so I want a rosy look today because the dress that I'm wearing is like it has like floral all over it it's floral it's a floral pattern 
and I want to incorporate some it's like white I'll show you guys in a little bit it's like white has some green in it it's like very old-fashioned and then a little bit of like pink shades in it so I want to incorporate like like a pinky shade in it I'm gonna go into the Tardis Tardis Pro to go palette and I'm gonna use the Sonia Kashuk brush that I always use which is the fluffy like Sonia Kashuk brush that I always that I always use in every video and I'm gonna put it like always in my crease So I'm grabbing more product and I'm just deep deepening up the outer kind of like V. So if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but more of the product is out here than in than in the inner corner. So I'm also bringing it into the like outer third of the lid, but I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a dark brown, and I'm just gonna use the one that's in the Tardis Pro to Go palette and. I'm going to use a smaller Sonia Kashuk brush and keep this more like in the lid area and just blend it out. And I'm going to go back in with the other brush with no extra product and I'm just going to blend out the edges. And I think this is where I want to incorporate the pink and like bring it out a little bit. So I don't want such an intense pink but I'm going to go into the Tulip Blush Duo from or by BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to grab this pink right here with just my finger like that. And Put it right oh that's a lot okay put it right in the space where I didn't put any shadow and blend it out with just my finger a little bit and then we'll use a brush that had a ton of fallout great Okay. And I want to incorporate some of this pink in like the crease area and just kind of like blend it out. So I'm going to go in with a like blending eyeshadow brush and I'm going to grab some of that pink and blend it out and then bring it into the crease. I'm going to go in with the Essence Eyeliner Pen and a waterproof one of my favorite eyeliners and I'm just gonna do I'm gonna try to do just like a little wing and see how it turns out okay guys I think I did it did I do it I think oh I'm gonna Curl my lashes. I'm gonna add some of the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Waterproof Mascara. Guys, moving on to the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go back in with that pink. I'm gonna smoke this out like all. on the bottom lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with the brush that I use to fill in my eyebrows and I'm gonna go in to this brown right there that I use to deepen up my eye look and I'm just gonna put it up close to the waterline. Where do I wanna keep it? I think I wanna keep it just right here towards the outer half I'm gonna go back in with the other brush and blend it out I'm 
some of the rose water that we used in the beginning. I'm just gonna put it on top. Okay, so for my lips, since it's kind of, my eyes are kind of dramatic. I feel like this one has more pink than this one. Let me check real quick. Okay guys, so since the eye look is kind of dramatic, I'm gonna go into the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. It's very, it's a very neutral shade. Okay guys, quick update here, update. I straightened my, so I straightened my hair uh, and I just put a little bit of gel and flatten this part and tease this a little bit. So um, that's just a hair update and I just straightened it. Okay guys, so somehow all the footage or most of the footage Got deleted off my memory card, so this is all I got from the dress that I wore. Um, and I actually filmed the kids' outfits and their hairstyles and everything that day. But it all got deleted, sadly. But if you guys would like to see um, like a family get ready with me, then let me know. Like this video or comment down below. Um, but that's it for this video, you guys. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. And I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!